Since the dawn of time, humanity has searched for answers. Answers to life's most difficult dilemmas. But now there is a battlefield where such answers may be found. Wow, when I look back at the 16-bit wars of systems and compare the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo and the games, they're so different. There's so many exclusives for both systems, and that's what made the war so intriguing. So I didn't have a Super Nintendo or Genesis back in the day because I was a little bit older, and I immediately jumped from my first computer, which was the Commodore 64, to a brand new 8088 IBM PC. So I kind of missed the 16-bit wars a little bit. The Super Nintendo versus the Sega Genesis. That was the war of our childhood, wasn't it? Oh, it was Mario against Sonic, and you know, it's kind of like the classic version of the PS3 versus the Xbox 360. Only one war really matters. Mario versus Sonic. The 16-bit wars. Ugh. 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 Mmm, delicious console. I've always thought the best way to settle this would be to take a Super Nintendo fan and a Genesis fan and have them go back and forth naming their favorite games. But I don't know, I mean, some of my favorite shoot 'em ups or shmups are, are on the Genesis. I don't know why, but they're so great on that console. I mean, games like Thunder Force, you had Raiden Trad on there, and of course, Lightning Force. Um, Oh, man, Felios, there's a ton of them on that system. And those are really near and dear to my heart. But on the Super Nintendo, I can tell you that Super Mario Kart is endless hours of fun. The battle mode, the different races and classes, uh, just an awesome game. And that's what I remember playing a lot. What's some on Sega Genesis? You got um, Rocket Knight Adventures. Rocket Knight Adventures. Alter Beast. Alter Beast, Vector Man. You have all the Sonics. You have Gunstar Heroes, which is pretty darn amazing. Contra um, Hard Corpse. Contra Hard Corpse. Hard, hard Corpse, I don't know. And I think Super Nintendo had the, the, the best games, and some of my favorite games I can remember was Mega Man X. I was always a huge fan of the Mega Man series on the original Nintendo. Growing up, there was nothing better than just staying up late, playing Donkey Kong, Mario World, and X. Yeah, Mega, Mega Man X. Don't get me wrong, the Genesis has great games, but if you were to even exclude Mario and Zelda and Metroid, you'd still have F-Zero and Chrono Trigger and Earthbound and the Final Fantasy games and Act Razor and Demon's Crest and Contra 3 and Mega Man X. There are so many great titles on the Super Nintendo. So we have first uh, Sonic Spinball. Oh my god. See, Sonic Spinball was a great idea. Uh, and, and it was done as a stopgap because they wanted a holiday Sonic game yeah. one year. Uh, Philippe had a Genesis, and at the time I had not owned one. And he said, John, I gotta show you this thing. He, he pops in Sonic the Hedgehog, and the intro saying, dun 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 dun, and seeing the whole finger finger flip and all that. And then not only that, but the music and the speed. Wow, was the speed of Sonic the Hedgehog fast. And another one that brings back really, really good memories and nostalgia is uh, F Zero. I mean, that game has some of the best music, and the gameplay is just ridiculous. It's so much fun. You know, trying to choose your favorite games, it's it's tough because on one hand, on the Super Nintendo, there were some classic games that I absolutely love, like, well, Donkey Kong Country is one of them, there's F-Zero, and of course, the mighty Final Fantasy series really came into its own on that console. To me, it's no comparison, once again, you know, the games on the Super Nintendo were so much better. You had Contra 3, you had Ca Castlevania 4, Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, you had Earthbound, you had Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 2, Contra 3, and Secret of Mana. I could seriously sit here and go on. UN Squadron, Act Razor. Dude, I mean, this. No, it's not even a comparison. Genesis man. had Sonic, Sonic 2, mm. Sonic and Knuckles, <laughs> um, Echo the Dolphin. Which sucks. Um, Boy, it, you're struggling it, now, yeah. aren't you? Without a doubt, when you compare sports games for each console, the Genesis and Super Nintendo, without a doubt, my personal opinion, Genesis owned the sports market. Okay. You had Joe Montana Sports Talk. Oh, I was blown away at the Yo sports te talk like technology. Now let's compare launch titles for the two systems. Super Nintendo, you have Super Mario World, which is an amazing game. 
You know, a lot of people didn't think that you could top Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. If there is ever a nuclear war, there's basically just gonna be left cockroaches, the Hulk, and Sega Genesis games. These things are sturdy. Represent. When it comes to soundtrack and music, I certainly pick the Super Nintendo to be the better of the two consoles. Listen to the soundtrack of Final Fantasy II, Final Fantasy III, Corona Trigger, all the classic RPGs are great examples of some great music for the Super Nintendo. You know, when you're comparing sound, a lot of the music and a lot of the sound effects have that very Genesis sound, if you know what I mean. And so sometimes it wouldn't come out as good, and I think the whatever the sound card, whatever processor the Super Nintendo used, just made sound uh, a lot better and music just just popped. I mean, think of the Final Fantasy, all, any of the Square games, some of that music sounded amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Genesis music, but I think when you're comparing them side by side, the Super Nintendo just had some more, like, far superior ports in just every way. I feel bad for having to put Sega Genesis up against the Super Nintendo in the sound department, because Sega Genesis is kind of known for having that twangy sound, that tinny sound. Um, it seriously sometimes hurts. Like, if you have the TV on loud and you turn on your Genesis, even yeah. the Sega thing sometimes is pretty piercing. Yeah. But Super Nintendo, the sound on the games are so, like, rich and full. And um, some of the soundtracks, like what? Dude, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Um, any of the Marios, um, including Mario RPG. Yeah. You know, um, Legend of Zelda, Super Metroid. Mega um, Man X. Mega Man X. Um, there's Final Just... Fantasy III. Those songs I can be anywhere and hear a, a song from Final Fantasy 3 and it will literally suck you into the game at that time when you remember <laughs> playing it as a kid Dude. and it it tugs at your heart I think my favorite Super Nintendo memory is from playing A Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and how at first at the beginning of the game Link goes outside and it's raining but what's so amazing is when he goes in the castle and you can hear the rain in the background hushed behind the music. That sort of thing had never been done as far as I know and I was blown away by it and it just still echoes with me to this day. I have this one fond memory of elementary school. We, uh, we used to have Super Nintendos uh, in that after school care program and we had like one or two Super Nintendos and the hot game at the time was Donkey Kong Country and that was one of the few games that you could actually save on the cart so I had a friend he must have been at the very end of the game right before King K. Roll and he had a save and everything, and then one day he's watching this girl um, playing the game, and and she's playing, and, he, and he's watching her play, and then all of a sudden he notices her save over his old file, and he lost it. He absolutely lost his mind. He went bonkers on this girl. For me, a good memory I have growing up was we had um, a Super Game Boy, and we would actually build a tent in our backyard with me and my brothers, and we would hook up an electrical cord going all the way through to the backyard, and we would hook up our Super Nintendo and play Link's Awakening all through the night eating cookies, um, just having a good time. I have very, very fond memories of playing Super Nintendo all the time as a kid. I had a Genesis as well, but it, we always went to the Super Nintendo. I'm just being super. honest. Sorry, Sega. Okay, so then Sega brings out the Sega CD to expand the life of the system, maybe give it a bit more flair. CD technology was kind of new at the time. Um, I know everyone out there, critically, financially, whatever, considers Sega CD a failure. Uh, we got two words for you. Uh, Sega! As a collector, one of the things I love about the Sega Genesis is that they were batshit crazy with this system. They released a ton of different models, including the original. This is the big old 16-bit version of it. Then they made the Model 2 here, which is a little bit more refined, a little bit more sleek looking. Then we have the little Model 3. It's cute. It's so cute. And then finally we have the culmination of the Genesis and the Sega CD and the CDX. Pretty cool. I'm not really impressed by the Super Nintendo design itself. It's very boxy and kind of odd looking. Now they did, they did redesign it and slim it down quite a bit uh, to fit the Japanese model. But uh, certainly not a big fan of the way and look of the North American Super Nintendo. This thing is sexy. The Sega Genesis, I think, did a very good job with the uh, look of the console, with the rounded edges and the black color, and it just, it looks sleek, as opposed to this awesome thing. It's nice and gold, it's golden pea color. It's the collector's <laughs> edition, I guess. You got the four buttons, no longer the two. Rounded, 
just felt so good in your hand. It's just so just it, it was sexy. I feel like the controller was just more it just felt better in your hand. It had more buttons. There are more things you could do with the Super Nintendo. I mean we had the super scope and we had shoulder buttons and all that. And one of the things that people talked about was Super Nintendo is better because you have the four buttons, the four main buttons, and the two top buttons, L and R, that you can use. With Sega, you just had the three buttons and the select or start button. The Sega Genesis controller has three. Oh, it's not very convenient for a lot of games, like fighting games. Um, playing what, Street Fighter? Yeah, not yeah, fun, dude. You I, have to I press need to start. I need that six button one. Yeah, the honestly. six button joystick, which you can also buy for Super Nintendo, but the thing is you didn't need to buy it. But overall, it's a really comfortable controller. Um, it's not my favorite. And actually the reason is, is because look how freaking cool the Genesis controller is. It's, it's like it's like the Batarang. It's awesome. And it's really useful to me because I have big meaty man hands and this fits really well in there. It's actually really comfortable. The Super Nintendo controller is almost two times as long. So did they expect Sega kids just to sit up right close in front of the TV? Controls, you know, both controllers are okay. I'm not a big fan of the Genesis Model 1 controller. It's bulky, there's three buttons. Uh, I do like the six button controller. It does fit really nicely in the hand. Many of us growing in the 16-bit wars will remember the commercial, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. They were so head to head with each other, it was unbelievable. Genesis. 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 16-bit sports strategy. You can't do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. 16-bit sports moves. You can't do this on Nintendo. I think we both can agree that Sega takes the cake for commercials because I don't really remember any Super Nintendo commercials growing up. But Sega had those memorable chimes that we all... Sega! Will... Sega! Hands down, Genesis had the best commercials for, for promoting itself. I'll, I'll, I'll even agree to you that. Have to I'll agree to that. To that. I, mean, I was a Nintendo fanboy, but when I saw one of those commercials, I turned to my sister and be like, DAMN! <laughs> But so so then they then they had this then so it's just that whole you know Genesis does that jingle and it was it's like you know it's it's like it's like comparing a beautiful pasta dish with bacon rosé sauce beautiful parmesan and comparing it to three day old craft dinner yeah. obviously the Genesis is going to be better than the NES there was this one commercial with Sonic and I think it was Honey Nut Cheerios and you know he's going around the loop de loops with the with the Cheerios Honey Bee and I was like what is this I'm eating my cereal and there's Sonic and he's he's with the bee and everything like that, that's just crazy usually you know it was maybe Mario would get in there sometimes but to have Sonic with like your favorite cereal that was kind of crazy to see Nintendo on the other hand had a different Different marketing approach. I remember one commercial, I think it was for the Nintendo Super Set or something like that. A guy walk around uh, around a huge Super Nintendo console and he was promoting how you not only got Super Mario World but with a rebate for like $4 rebate you can actually get Mario All-Stars as well which is for additional Mario games. Let me be perfectly clear, I like both systems but when I have to pick one, I choose the Super Nintendo. Why? Because of the games. When it comes to the two systems, choice is obvious for me. Super Nintendo. And I have to agree with him. I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo as well. Um, but the only thing is, it's not really fair because if you put Super Nintendo against any system for me, I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo. And if you put it against Xbox 360, I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo. PlayStation 3, I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo. Atari, I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo. Um, any, any system, Jaguar, I'm gonna pick Super Nintendo. If you put it up against the original Nintendo, I'm going to pick... I don't know what I would pick. That's a hard one right there. I love Nintendo! Like, as a kid, like I said before, it was probably... It came down to the games. I mean, Sega, as far as exclusives, you had Sonic. You had some kind of quirky games like Toe Jam and Earl, which were, you know, kind of cool in their own right. But I think when you compare them side by side, when there are multi-platform games, I felt like the Super Nintendo version was always superior. So... Who won the 16-bit video game wars? It's funny, because there's two winners. The first winner everybody forgets about. Yeah. It's us. Peace.
second winner was Sega. Say all you want about end of cycle numbers, how Nintendo sold more systems, how Nintendo sold more games. When Sega left the 16-bit war, they had won, and like any great athlete or artist, they washed their hands and they walked away at the peak of their game. Yeah, they, and that says a lot. Exactly, and they went from being nothing to a household name, and they took on the giant of the industry. They came out swinging, and they were came out with like freaking everything, like nut punches and biting, and it worked. So, like Darren says, Nintendo may have sold more units, but the fact that Sega did so well against this Goliath of a competitor makes them a winner. I like the Super Nintendo better than the Sega Genesis. Just because, you know, I'm familiar with it. I know which games are good, um, and I have childhood memories playing those games. You know, I think both systems play those sprite-based 2D graphic games really well. I think they both do a fantastic job. And honestly, I don't really lean one way or the other. I think maybe the Genesis has a little bit more processing power, but the Super Nintendo has a better sound. Uh, who, who knows? I don't care. I don't care. For me, uh, it's all about the games. I think the Super Nintendo is better. And I think the Genesis is better. One of us is right and I believe it to be me. And one of us is wrong and I also believe it to be him. I guess we'll just have to let the masses decide. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Which is better? Battle for better. So what system do I like better? Well that's a difficult question, I'll be honest with you. I probably like each system equally the same. It just depends on what mood I am for each game. For example, if I want to play a sports title, a beat em up or a shooter, I'll go with the Genesis because I, I like more of those games for the Genesis. But if I want to go with an RPG or a platformer, I'll stick with the Super Nintendo because there's some great platforming games, there's some great RPGs for the Super Nintendo.